Did you know that Christianity, with over 2.3 billion adherents, is the world's largest religion? That's right. Nearly one in three people on Earth identifies as a Christian. This faith has spanned continents, shaped cultures, and impacted history in profound ways. From its humble beginnings over 2,000 years ago, it has grown into a diverse and dynamic community. And as members of this vast community, it's important to continuously strive to be better Christians. Being a better Christian begins by understanding the core principles of Christianity. At the heart of Christianity are principles that define the faith, guide behavior, and shape our worldviews. Let's delve into three of these core principles. Love, faith, and forgiveness. First, let's talk about love. Love in Christianity is not just an emotion, but a principle of action. It's about selflessly caring for others, even when it's difficult. Consider the story of a man named John. He was a successful businessman who, after encountering a family in dire need, decided to help them financially. He didn't do it for recognition or reward. He did it out of love. That's the Christian principle of love in action, putting others before oneself without expecting anything in return. Next, we have faith. Faith is not just about believing in God, it's about trusting in his plan, even when the path seems uncertain. Let's take the example of Sarah, a woman who battled cancer. Despite her diagnosis, she never lost her faith. She believed in God's plan for her, even when the future seemed bleak. Her faith wasn't just a belief in God's existence, but a trust in his wisdom and goodness. That is the essence of Christian faith, trusting in God's plan, even in the face of adversity. Finally, let's look at forgiveness. In Christianity, forgiveness is a liberating act that frees us from resentment and bitterness. Imagine a woman named Lisa. She was deeply hurt by a friend, but instead of holding on to resentment, she chose to forgive. This act didn't justify the wrong done to her, but it released her from the burden of anger and bitterness. That's the power of Christian forgiveness. It liberates the forgiver more than the forgiven. In essence, these principles of love, faith, and forgiveness are not just theoretical concepts. They are powerful forces that, when lived out, can transform individuals and communities. They are guidelines for how we relate to others, how we face challenges, and how we let go of our past. These principles aren't just theoretical, they can and should be applied in our daily lives. Practicing faith isn't just about going to church on Sundays, it's about living out your beliefs every day. It's like breathing, something we do without even realizing it. Yet, it has the power to shape our lives profoundly. One of the most effective ways to practice faith daily is through prayer. Engaging in a conversation with your Creator isn't just reserved for moments of desperation or gratitude. It's an ongoing dialogue that brings you closer to the Divine. Think of it as your morning coffee with God, a chance to start your day with a sense of peace and purpose. A friend of mine, let's call him John, began to incorporate this practice into his daily routine. He started his day with a quiet moment of prayer, taking the time to express his hopes, fears, gratitude, and even doubts. Over time, he noticed a significant improvement in his mood and overall well-being. He was calmer, more focused, and felt a deeper connection to his faith. Another way to practice faith daily is through reading scripture. The Bible isn't just a book, it's a guide, a roadmap, a source of wisdom and inspiration. By reading even a verse or two each day, you immerse yourself in the teachings of Christ and find guidance for your everyday life. Take the story of Sarah, a busy working mom who found solace in the scripture. She would read a verse or two during her lunch break, finding strength and inspiration in the words of Christ. The scriptures became her source of comfort and guidance, helping her navigate through life's challenges with grace and courage. Lastly, practicing faith isn't just about personal growth. It's about making a positive impact in the world, doing good deeds, helping those in need, spreading kindness and love. These are the true manifestations of faith. Remember, faith without works is dead. So let's make our faith alive and vibrant through our actions. Make practicing your faith a daily habit, not just a weekly ritual. Because faith isn't something we put on like a Sunday best, it's who we are, in our most ordinary moments and our most extraordinary ones. Scene script. Part of being a good Christian is building and nurturing a supportive community. In the grand tapestry of Christianity, community holds a prominent place. It's an assembly of individuals who share common values, beliefs, and most importantly, a common faith. It's not simply about attending Sunday service, but about forging meaningful connections with those around you, amplifying the power of faith through shared experiences. Imagine a friend named John. He moved to a new city, leaving behind a network of support, family, and friends. He felt isolated, disconnected. But then, he began attending a local church. 
and joined a Bible study group. Over time, John found more than just a congregation. He discovered a community, a second family that offered him strength, comfort, and companionship. This is the power of a community in Christianity. Building such a community isn't an overnight task. It starts with small steps. You could join a church group, participate in church activities, or volunteer your time and skills. It's about reaching out, opening your heart to others, and letting them into your life. It's about being there for others, just as Jesus was there for his followers. Through volunteering, you not only serve your community, but you also demonstrate the very essence of Christianity, love, compassion, and selflessness. It's an embodiment of Jesus' teachings and a testament of your faith. And remember, you're not alone on this journey. There are others around you seeking the same connection, the same sense of belonging. Together, you can create a community that not only supports each other, but also strengthens each other's faith. Remember, a strong community can help you grow and strengthen your faith. Being a better Christian isn't a destination, it's a journey. This journey has been at the heart of our conversation today. We've explored the astonishing facts about Christianity, delved into its core principles, and underscored the significance of practicing our faith daily. Remember, understanding Christianity's core principles is your compass. It guides you, providing a framework for your thoughts, actions, and decisions. Moreover, practicing faith daily is your fuel, the driving force that keeps your spiritual engine running. It's not just about prayers and rituals, it's about living a life that reflects the teachings of Christ in every way possible. And let's not forget the power of community. Building a community is like constructing a support system, a network of like-minded individuals who share, care, and uphold the same values. So, don't just listen, but take action. Apply these points in your daily life. So take these steps, apply them in your life, and embark on the journey of being a better Christian.